Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of daily vlogging instead of random vlogging. So, yeah. Um, so, the reason I'm doing this... Uh, <laughs> one of the fun things about depression is it makes you very, very unmotivated. Uh, and it's very difficult for you to do much of anything. That's one of the, 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 the fun parts of dealing with it. And um, I've been having issues getting a lot of things done and I'm not creating content for the channel and stuff like that. Like it's, and it's really been kind of reinforcing uh, my depression already because due to other things happening in my life, it is incredibly stressful right now. Like massively, massively stressful. Um, so I, uh, I'm uh, finding ways, unique ways to get through it. Uh, and one of the things that um, helps me personally with my depression uh, is actually getting things done. Um, one of the, the very few times that I actually saw a therapist about it, um, the reason I don't see a therapist currently about it is because of just the bad uh, taste that interaction left in my mouth. Not that he was a, a bad therapist or anything like that. Like, he's phenomenal. Uh, he's unfortunately retired now. Uh, but uh, he's very, very, very good at, at what he did. Um, but it uh, infuriated me when I went in there and uh, I went, hey, you know, this is what's going on in my life and, you know, this is all this stuff and this is all this stuff. And, uh, and then I kind of told him, you know, this is my plan to get through it. And this is all my stuff. And his response was, that sounds like a great plan. And that was it. Uh, and that infuriated me because I was like, I've just wasted all this time coming down here just to find out that I knew what I was doing already. I, I hate that. Um, uh, and that's been the reaction I've had whenever I've uh, spoken to uh, a therapist is I go in, I explain what's going on. They say, yeah, that sucks. Uh, I tell them how I'm going to get through it. They go, that's actually a very healthy way to deal with it. Uh, and then I leave and it just infuriates me. Um, but there was one bit of advice uh, that he gave me that I had kind of figured out on my own, but it had never been vocalized to me, uh, which is uh, the idea of when I first got diagnosed with depression, I basically... Uh, convinced myself that my life was my life as I had been living it was over I had this you know this disease this disability that was going to change how I viewed my life how I interacted with people uh, and I was gonna have to make some massive changes in order to be able to continue living um, and part of that was due to the fact that the drugs that they put me on did some massive changes to my brain chemistry because that's what they were supposed to do, but the side effects were horrible. Um, uh, but a lot of that was just me kind of, you know, I, I, when I first got diagnosed, I was mortified. I was, uh, I was, uh, ashamed. Uh, I was, I was terrified of the diagnosis because I thought the person that I was had just died and I was going to be this brand new person that I didn't like anymore. And I, had just gotten to the point in my life where I was proud of the person I had become. Most most of my life I'd been ashamed of who I was and I'd been ashamed of the things that I liked and things like that. Um, and so I'd finally gotten to the point where I'm like, no, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the person I am. I have a lot of things I want to change about myself, but for the most part I'm very proud of the person that I am and I've worked very hard to become this person. And then this diagnosis came, uh, which basically in my mind told me, uh, Congratulations, you don't get to be that person anymore. This disease uh, gets to choose when you're going to feel good. It's going to choose when you feel bad. Uh, it's going to choose what you do. It's going to choose who you hang out with. It's going to choose where you go. All of this, uh, you no longer have any say in. Um, and so, yeah, that was kind of my mindset for the first, like, six months of being diagnosed. And I hated it. It was horrible. Um, and while I was meeting and, and getting frustrated with this therapist, uh, he did kind of uh, give me this one piece of advice that uh, really made sense to me, which was the, the idea that my depression doesn't rule my life. My depression is, uh, and my anxiety, 
my depression and anxiety uh, are part of my physical makeup. I have depression and, and anxiety. If I ignore it, that's not going to help. They do change how I interact with things. However, they don't control it. They don't, um, you know, it's, it's something I have to deal with, but I get to deal with it. They don't get to tell me what I do. Um, and uh, that advice has been one of the ways that I, I deal with my depression. And uh, one of the ways I found is very effective uh, is uh, by actually doing something that I make progress in. Um, sometimes that's, that's video games. If I can sit there and go, hey, look, I did this to this to this to this, despite of the fact that I was really unmotivated, um, that is helpful to me. Uh, due to the fact that video games aren't real, it's not the greatest thing and it tends to be a temporary fix. The other thing that I do, uh, you guys may notice behind me now, um, I used to have uh, just a bunch of boxes from when I got my computer and everything there as uh, a line of sight block, um, simply because I don't want people focusing on my background uh, rather than focusing on what I'm saying. So uh, I'd had a couple people that had mentioned, hey, you know, it looks kind of weird. You know, it, it looks like you're, you know, in the middle of a move or you're homeless or something and you have all these boxes behind you. Uh, so uh, the past, I don't know, three or four days, uh, I have been uh, cleaning my room and uh, uh, reorganizing and, and basically getting a ton done that I haven't done in months. And uh, that was that was one of the things uh, I was able to do. And by completing things like setting goals and completing them, it's one of the ways that I can combat uh, my depression because uh, the depression tells me, you know what, just give up. You're never going to do anything. Everything that you do is worthless. You're never going to complete anything. It's really not fun. But when I can sit there and, you know, basically show myself, hey, you know, I decided to do something and I did it. Um, it really helps, and it helps me to kind of get out of the funk when I can. It doesn't always work. Uh, like I said, I've, I've come up with a bunch of different ways to deal with uh, my personal depression and anxiety, and this just happens to be one of them. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so one of the reasons I'm doing this daily vlogging thing in relation to that uh, is this is something that I can... You know, say, you know, I, I decided to do this and I'm going to do it. End of story. The depression doesn't control me. I control the depression. It's part of me. I can't, I, I can't just throw it away or pretend that it doesn't exist. Um, but I'm the one that gets to call the shots, not this disability, not this disease. So, yeah. So, hopefully there will be, uh, uh, I, I had an, an interesting experience today when I, I realized I, I didn't know what I wanted to talk about uh, and that's the hardest part of doing daily vlogging is just having something interesting to say every single day um, but it seemed like a good time to talk about this particular subject I think I've mentioned it before in other vlogs but I really wanted to you know kind of uh, narrow it down and, and, and talk about it hopefully you know to the, the help of anyone else that might have depression uh, or anxiety this you know this is one of the techniques that I use to help get through it so um, yeah, that's all for me today, um, and I will see you guys, uh, tomorrow for another daily vlog, all right? Bye-bye!